If you think that obfuscating your location and your IP address will give you a complete anonymity online, you're wrong. Some threat models require you to leave no trace of your activity on the device you're using, which is a problem nowadays, as regular operating systems are designed to store sensitive data on the hardware of the machine they are installed on. This is why you should be using Tails. Tails is an operating system that is designed to run off of a USB flash drive, instead of being permanently installed on an internal drive, which allows it to wipe all of the information about a session's activities from the system's host memory. Once a user plugs out their USB flash drive, reboots, or shut down their system, it contains the word incognito in its name, because its entire traffic is routed through Tor, and the default fingerprint of each Tails installation matches perfectly with every other Tails user on the planet. So in this video of online anonymity and Tor tutorial part 2, first we're gonna go over how you can download the official Tails image file, and run a security check on it to make sure it was not compromised while downloading, then we'll look at how we can flash that image file onto a USB drive, while keeping some OPSEC tips in mind to make sure you are not doing anything wrong, and finally we'll then be looking at a few things to do after successfully booting in our Tails system. So let's start. Okay so first to download the official Tails image file, head over to its website located at tails.boum.org. Once open, scroll down and click on Install Tails to choose which operating system you'll be installing Tails from. I'm gonna choose Windows as I wanted to keep this tutorial easy to understand for everyone, but if you're using Linux, don't worry the installation process is same except some minor differences, which I'll be pointing out through the video. Anyways after choosing your host operating system, you will see a page like this displaying what you'll need to set up Tails, and the steps you're gonna go through. So once you're ready, start by downloading the Tails image file either directly from a mirror link, or using the BitTorrent client. I'm gonna go with the direct option. Once downloaded, go to the next step and click on select your download for verification, this will make sure that your Tails image file was not compromised while downloading, and is safe to use. Next if the verification went successful, you are ready to flash Tails on a USB stick. This process is very simple on all platforms. For Windows or Mac, download this simple utility called Etcher. And once downloaded open it. Then click on Flash from File, and select your Tails image file. Next select the USB flash drive you want to install Tails on, and finally click on Flash. If you're on Linux, you can simply use the built-in disk utility to flash Tails on your USB drive. Just open it, and select your USB drive, then click on the Restore Disk Image option, and select the image file. Once the Tails image file is successfully flashed on your USB flash drive, you're ready to boot into Tails for the first time. So to boot into Tails, you need to know how to access your machine's boot menu or BIOS setting. But once you are on your boot menu, select the USB drive that you flashed Tails on, and hit Enter to boot into Tails. Next select the first option from this bootloader. Once Tails is booted, select your desired language, your keyboard format, and then start Tails. And you're good to go. Now one of the issues that I have seen many people encounter when booting to Tails, is about network connectivity. So just in case if your Wi-Fi interface is not showing or is not available, use an Ethernet cable or buy a Wi-Fi adapter for a few dollars. But mine seems good to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi network. Once you're connected to a network, a window like this will pop up asking you about which kind of Tor connection you want to perform. So if Tor is banned in your country, and you don't want your ISP or anyone monitoring your network to know that you are using Tor, you can go with the second option, but if you don't care about anyone finding out that you're using Tor, go with the first option. Note that by clicking on the first option, you can still use a Tor bridge if you want to. Once you're done selecting, Tails will start configuring the Tor connection, and once completed, you can click on Start Tor Browser to launch it. And if you're wondering how you can use the Tor Browser securely, you can also check out my video on some good OPSEC tips to keep in mind when using Tor Browser, by clicking on the I button above. Next if you wish to securely store some files on your Tails USB drive, you can also create an encrypted persistent storage, by clicking on the Applications drop-down menu and selecting Configure Persistent Storage. But keep in mind that this persistent storage will be encrypted not hidden, meaning that if someone is holding your Tails USB drive, they will be able to see that there is an encrypted partition, and might force you to reveal your password through necessary means. The next words out of your mouth ought to be the truth. You understand? And there you go, this was how you can set up and use Tails from a USB flash drive to maximize your anonymity with Tor. Now keep in mind is that no tool can truly anonymize you, if you have bad operational security, and you don't know what you're doing. 
So I will recommend you to educate yourself by reading different articles on anonymity, and a good place to start is the official Tales documentation itself. Give it a read to learn more about how these tools work, and what can you do to minimize the chances of you exposing your own identity. Anyways guys if you have any questions regarding the video, make sure to ask them in the comments section down below, and I will see you in the next one.